In this video we're going to demonstrate how to install the Oracle binaries associated with a bring your own license with Oracle uh, where i.e. the customer will be providing their Oracle license and then this installer that we're demonstrating it's designed to use a specific version from Oracle go to their site and accept their license agreement this installer wrapper will take advantage of that to do that we'll first mount our installer wrapper and once it's in set up uh, and mounted then we can run it as administrator click next does some space checks. If there are any issues here, it will let us know of problems and you'll need to remediate those. You need to read through this license agreement or at least scroll through it before you'll be able to then accept the terms and click next. Read the requirements for this. This indicates pretty clearly that this should not be an administrator account. This account name will be given the privilege to start and stop the Oracle services. If you're going to create that role specifically or that user, you'll need to allow it to administer services but not be a full-fledged administrator. This installer is designed to work with a version of the Oracle installer that you can get from Oracle directly, 19.3 installer for Windows. If we go ahead and have that already staged on here, I can point to that and then click Next. Click Next again and the installer extracts all sorts of Oracle binaries. The uh, installer reaches a stage where it's going to prompt us for the Oracle service user password. It's going to do that twice. So after the services have been created, then we see continuing action where the Oracle listener gets set up as well as the Oracle main installation. Then when we, after we've come out of that command prompt, we see this click next to continue. We go ahead and do that. And that uh, completes our installation of the Oracle binaries.